Okay guys, welcome to episode 5 of DC Universe. Uh, I'm Diamond Mouse with my level 9 character. I'm going to carry on with the, these missions we're doing. When we last left off, we did um, these missions over here where we was trying to find the invisible portals. And now it wants us to go to the 8th Precent Interior Raven's Destiny. That's a mouthful uh, to continue your mission. So we're going to go there. And there's a side mission for it. I really can't wait till we get movement mode. When do we get movement mode? Oh, we've got a skill point. When is it? Oh, it's level 9, it's now. Oh, yes. It's this one. one. We're holding L3 or number lock while gliding enables a rocket like glide across the city with no need to stop uh, or touch down. Or holding X or spacebar while on a wall fires grappling line up the side of a building, allowing you to quickly ascend. This is what I was on about. So if down here, you just go straight up. And of course, I just fly around like this. See how much faster that is now? Very hard to control that actually. Um, so when you go into the movement mode, it zooms you straight up into the air. So you, you just you go straight up. See, well, straight up into the ceiling. Okay, take on some level nine guys. Which is fair, because we are level 9. Oh, guess to press the turret back out. Break all the barrels for the feet. And we need to get these escape prisoners. And luckily enough, I know where all of them are, so we won't have to spend too long doing that. See, I don't want to use the number three now and make this thing explode. So why must suppress it to explode as well? Okay, here's another guy. My boss will get you for this. There's a investigation here. I want a treasure chest. Love you, Jubilee. Let's see what we got in the treasure chest. Ah, uh, some rubbish. Come on, Cyborg, let's have a don't. Oh, that lag. Oh, he got me good then. Did he break that barrel? He's really tough actually. Go on Starfire. Let's go. I'm getting dominated. There we go. Why are you and I fighting? 
Get a barrel. Okay. Nightwing is actually really difficult. Believe it or not. Oh, come on, man. Okay, see what Donna tries to say. Get some power back from this barrel, not much, only 20. Well, every few seconds anyway. Okay. Oh, Donna. Carry on. I think these hands will look quite nice um, with quantum. That's one. Quantum hand blasts. I look quite nice. I think for gadgets. I don't know, it still looks quite nice for gadgets. Looks pretty cool stuff. The ice ones I don't like. I really don't like the ice ones. Just when you've got blocks of ice behind us. Looks pretty stupid. So, I'd say we're nearly a third of the way to 30, but... It, it does take longer to level up as you get higher, so... Probably a quarter of the way. I'd say we're a quarter of the way. There's another prisoner that's escaped, so needs to tie him up. Hey, take it easy. I ain't running. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Raven. I need to look at you first. Come on then. Does this sticky stick grenade do instant damage as soon as it hits them? Or no, it doesn't. So that'd be pretty awesome to like hit them a bit as soon as as soon as you threw it. It does stun them though. I think for this character, I'm going to want to go for high dominance. Because in PvP, if you've got high dominance, it means you know, those stunning effects and stuff. They'll last longer. And whatnot. Bam. Oops. Send you up to space, mate. Okay, the last two prisoners should be round here. Yep. And there's one at the end of the corridor. I didn't pick that up. Okay. Yeah, defeat all of Trigon, Trigon Sin Demons. So we've got a feat for that. We've got some XP for tying them guys up. 
Oops. Glad you guys showed up. I'm holding her body in one place, but Raven's fighting Trigon deep in her soul. I can feel it. What can we do? The, the villain's one is a lot easier in here. You face, you know, at the start we faced like each of the. That's a Starfire, each of the Titans, uh, Nightwing and Cyborg and Dollar Troy. We had to face each of the Trigons separately, but that was all together, one after another. Oh, as a villain, you face them separately at like one, and you do a bit, a bit more killing the, the normal guys, and there's another one. So I think it's a lot easier. But if you're a hero, you get them all at once, one after another, which I think is quite difficult, actually. This fight's easy. That barrel in the the orange barrel in the back left corner there, uh, that just respawns all the time. So after each raven you kill, you just go and smash a barrel, get your, all your health back and power. See, now the game is kind of paused for a minute. Come over here, grab this barrel. And do that while the next raven summoned. And you are done. Oh, the next barrel hasn't spawned. Damn it. One over here. There it is. Come here, Raven. Oops. That's the only problem with the uh, acrobatics. And that Raven's done. And this barrel is respawned. So we get some more power back. Oh, we get this raven. And it could seem when we get all our power back. You see it recharging up in the corner there. Over here. You will leave this place. I'm actually going to close this box down a bit because you don't need it. Okay, now we've got a bit of power back. I'm terrible at blocking in DC Universe. That's that's my problem. I don't know when to block, and it seems every time I do block, I get block broken straight away. So I never usually bother blocking, which is bad. I need to block more, really. But I'm just too aggressive. I like to kill things before they get a chance to even attack me. Uh, that's my big problem in Legends PvP. Uh, I've been told by a lot of people I need to block, but you know, I'm just not the sort of person who blocks, or blocks very well. I always get the timing wrong. So, I always go for rush kills. So, like, that's why I like to play Ursa as Legends. Because playing as Ursa, she's got a lot of block breaks herself. So, what I do is I just play Ursa. Leveled up again, level 10. Yes. And I put some moves and throw in the odd block break because usually when you're attacking them, they start blocking. So and I just get a block break so, so they don't have a chance to even attack me. Anyway, back to this. 12 ahead, that's an 8. So we'll put that on. We've got these martial art hands, which are a lot better than theirs. Why didn't they give us some hand blasters instead? I don't know. But we have leveled up. And we have a power point and a skill point. So let's have a look at what we can buy. Get a supercharge now. 
don't really need a supercharge when you're leveling up. But. Hmm. That's a finisher. Hmm. I like that. I like that shield. I like that. Pop that when you get low. Let's get ourselves a supercharge. Even though I won't probably use it ever. Or rarely, I might just use it for the fun of it. Um, ever so often. Now with these, I don't you don't really need these when you're leveling up. Not really. So we should go to the next one. What does this give me? Two crit critical attack damage, that's fine. So that means we can get these things out of inventory. We can equip the styles. Because we've unlocked bow now. So get them styles out of the way. And we can go to Chinatown Police Station. If it was going to tell us where it was. And we got a new weapon for this. Okay, it's not going to tell us where, where it is. So I'm going to put a marker. And the game does that sometimes. Look how, look how much faster it is now. Look how fast we are now. So you look it up and down, doesn't do anything. But you hold W to go up and S to go down. And A and D also don't do anything. It's really diff difficult to control. <laughs> I'm going to struggle doing races with this character. Talking of races. Let's, let's try a race out now. Now we've got a, a new speed ability. It's so much easier to do the flight ones. Flight has some some really really easy um, races. You know they don't take any time at all. Yay! That's their first medal. Um, for doing these races. Place is so hard to control. Zip zip line's fun, but difficult difficult to control the flight. Sorry. So when you're doing races and you have to use the flight, just so getting up buildings that quick is what I love. Oh yeah, that I love. Come on, turret me out the way. Oh no. Ah. I messed up there. Oh, did I look at this one? Oh no. I don't think we're going to do this one. I think, I'm, I think I messed up. God, I'm not looking forward to some of the expert ones. Hey, we've still got a platinum. Oh, I can hear a special thing. There we go. We got one of these out of it. I'm Jack Ryder, and you are wrong if you think you're immune to sorcerers like Felix Faust. He's thousands of years old, and he sold his soul to demons not once, not twice, but dozens of times. We should get this guy to run the economy. Now he's in Chinatown. Here we go. Should get a new weapon from this, I think. From Satana. It's nice for going around because it's pretty quick. I think. But once again, flight. Really easy to control. The, I thought the races for flight were most difficult. Until I tried these, and then you find out it's really not. They're really easy. Okay, we've got this emblem of symmetry. That's from doing the races. We've got a ring. And we have a new back piece. 
Right, let's see what they are. This is an eight level back. This is an eight level back, so which one do I want? Oh, I'll keep I'll keep the one I've got on. And this ring is I'm good because we haven't got any rings yet. So we'll equip that. And now we get to pick a new weapon. We can go for hand blasters. Because we are using hand blasters. And we've got a feat for collecting 50 styles. I think these are the guys, Hawkman and Martian Manhunter, who tell you about the arenas. So, Australia here, just a PvP, and is he giving this one as well? Alert. So, Area 51, he wants me to go into Area 51. I'm not going to go into Area 51 yet. So, there we go, there's another mission done. Gonna try out a Legends PvP again. Uh, with Robin, I'm not gonna cheat and use these guys. Okay, one's popped already. So I'm gonna zip in just to show you what the 1v1's like. Okay, we've got ourselves a Huntress. She's probably laughing right now, or he, whoever's playing Huntress. Probably laughing at us, thinking, well, a new newbie Robin player. We're going to wreck this guy. You probably are. That is getting away. Get. Oh. What do people run like that? Oh, he's going for the barrel. He's going for the barrel of health, like a freaking jerk. Oh, come on, be nice. Boosh! We own that guy. Or girl. Okay, let's go invisible. And I ain't got a clue what these two moves do right now, but we're gonna try them. Bang. I knew he was going to block then. Go on, jump. Come on, be fair. Yeah. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight these guys. They are... That... These, these guys shouldn't even be allowed. Because... Oh, my God. They just stun you. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. They're just stunning me. As soon as I get up, they're stunning me. I can't. Oh my freaking god. You can fudge off. God damn it. They shouldn't involve them annihilators. That's really not fair. If one person's winning, they're winning because they're good. Don't help them with your stupid annihilators. Plus, if your character's flight, they oh, are. I get it easy because I get to skip it all. Oh, you got me then.
Get some distance between us. Oh, you got me. Oh, you got me again. This is why I hate, hate the star. Oh, shh. You got wrecked. This is why I'm better at 1v1s. Because I can't go and shout at other people. Saying, oh, it's your fault. You know, but, but blame the loss on other people, like. But, um... Oh, hey. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was completely my fault. Go on, do it. Oh, that was good. That was good. Have I given up? I think I've just given up. Good choice. Because you're not going to win against me. <laughs> Robin, you little badass. There's not many people who play Robin because of the bow thing. Uh, the staff thing, sorry. Because the staff is really bad as a weapon. I'm now really going to annoy that guy. I literally just camp in the roof. And wait for him to come in and then just drop. <laughs> How annoyed are they going to be? Yeah! Oh, I missed! I would have been sweet. Whoa! And we won. Let's bow. Oh, no, it failed. The damage. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that match. I'm going to show you what rewards you get for winning a match as well. So you get two marks of legend, which I use to buy new legends characters. Uh, I only have three at the minute. And you get these marks of valor, which are used to buy PvP gear. So I've got two of them for winning. And equip them, and also because uh, I won, I got a champion's prize. I was open it up, and we got five more marks of legend and a gear box. Let's open some more marks of legend, and it is we've got another five marks of legend. So we got 12 marks of legend for doing that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so probably empty our inventory right now. We've got a lot of rubbish in our inventory and only 900 cash. We could probably sell all of it because we've got the best stuff in our inventory equipped. I want to keep the exhibits though so don't mess up and sell them. I can probably keep them as well because it's an R&D component. So we can use that for research and development when we get to it. Okay, there we go. So inventory inventory should be fairly empty right now. This is cool. We're gonna just delete that because there's nothing else you can do with it apart from delete it. Can tidy your inventory up a bit. And I'm gonna end this one here. Because, well, actually, after I went to the mailbox and end this one here, haven't got much done this episode, I feel, but I haven't got much time to record today. So, I'm going to have to make this a short one. Okay, guys, so don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment telling me what you thought of the video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.